Hi, Hiram here. In one of my last videos, I did a test on this low pressure side burner modification 4B. This is the one that has wick right above the eighth inch jet holes. While I was doing the test, I wondered what would happen if I just used the wick and not the holes alone. I mean, just use the wick alone. So that's what I did. I made up another one here. The wick is at about the same distance from the top as the other one. It's about a half an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Wick goes into the, the uh, stove. So what I'm going to do now is get one milliliter, no, one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters of methanol alcohol in here and get my water prepped and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got everything set up. I'm going to shoot this from camera two again so that we can see the flames and the temperature and time. Let me light this. It's got one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters of methanol in there. I think you saw the flame going around the circle. Again, this is the stove is quartered, so the wick is split up into four pieces so that each piece does get enough of the alcohol. So let's let this go and see how long it takes. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 611, 6 minutes and 11 seconds. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 6 minutes and 11 seconds. Sorry if I'm yelling, have it. Uh, I'm not going to show the sped up part again. Flames look pretty much just like this the whole time. That's a nice thing about this. Uh, when you work with wicking, it's not dependent on the temperature outside. As long as the alcohol is not frozen, this thing should light up and work just like this. Whereas if you're using with the vapor jets, the small holes under the wick, everything has to get warmed up enough to create vapors. Also what I did on this, although it doesn't much matter, I did put my carbon felt underneath the stove. So let's see how long it takes for run out now. Okay, there we're going. Going. Still hanging in. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. Okay, I'm going to call it as out at 10.37. Okay, so run out at 10.37. Let me go back to camera one now. Okay, we're on camera one. Not bad. Let me take this off. Yep, it's all emptied out. Oh, i got a flickering light problem here. You can see the wicks down in there. The uh, car I put carbon felt here again, but in this kind of a stove it's not really necessary. That was needed more for the cat stove with the jet holes in it because the temperature of the stuff that it's setting on affects how that runs. But something with a wick like I said before, I hate to repeat myself, but as long as the alcohol isn't frozen, and I don't remember off the top of my head what the uh, freezing point of alcohol or methanol is, but as long as it's not that cold, this should work. It's not dependent on vapors, it's just the wick, lit, uh, the wick with the alcohol in it. Okay, that was with that. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, room temperature 54. Humidity 41, it's partly cloudy and very windy out. Not in here, but outside. So that came to a boil in 6 minutes and 11 seconds and ran out in 10 minutes 37. Yesterday, with this stove, uh, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 32 seconds and ran out in 9 minutes 50 seconds. So this one was about 45 seconds slower but it, it ran out a little bit longer yet. So you definitely have disinfected water. 
with this kind of a setup. There's no simmer on this thing. It's either full bore or out, but that's what you got. Uh, I could use larger wicking around this, but I'm not sure, you know, like that. I'm not sure if that would help at all. Hmm. But, okay, so that's that one. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.